Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther, and today I'm going to show you how to create this ghost text effect in Photoshop. All right, first step, make sure you got some wrinkled material, you know, a texture that you can use. Um, and we're going to cut out some wrinkles from here. I like this area, so I'm going to select the crop. This is the crop, and I'm going to crop it. and double click so it's gonna crop okay i'm gonna increase the size of, uh, of the image a little more so go to image image size i'm gonna go with 2500 and click ok as you can see now the image is kind of destroyed but don't worry about it i'm gonna go to the layers uh uncheck the lock right click and convert to smart a smart object from here we're gonna go to the filters blur gaussian blur uh, at 12 percent blur now we're gonna go to the filter again go to the filter gallery and we're gonna go to the texture and select grain we're gonna increase the intensity so around 70 and the contrast on 30 i'm gonna click on this plus thing to see what is going on click ok and it's gonna look something like this and from here we're gonna go here to the adjustments and go with the black and white you're gonna to need to be black and white I also gonna go back to the adjustment layers and select the curves so I'm gonna get at some more contrast gonna increase this and decrease this Okay, I'm gonna save it, go to File, Save As. I'm gonna save it to the desktop, rename it number three and make sure that it's on Photoshop. This is the Photoshop file PSD and click on Save. So this is the displacement that we're gonna use. Now I'm gonna go back to the layers and I'm gonna create a solid color, gonna be white and I'm gonna delete the rest, these. So basically press and hold Shift, select all, press and delete. So you can type a text, you can import your logo, for example this is the type tool, you can type in whatever you want, you can change the color here, I'm gonna go with black, rename it as Panther, click on the selection tool, press Ctrl T, scale it up, and, but I'm gonna, you know, import the logo. Okay, and make sure that the layer with the text is a smart object, so right click and click on convert to smart object all right so go to the filter go to the distort and displace now we're gonna distort it like we got the horizontal scale and the vertical scale so the horizontal scale basically distorts it horizontally and the vertical scale distorts it vertically you know and I'm gonna increase the horizontal scale. I want to distort it a lot. I'm gonna go with 200, whoops, 200. And vertical scale, I'm gonna go with um, 35. Okay, click on OK. This window gonna pop up and you basically saved the PSD texture that we made before. And you're gonna need, to, you're gonna need to select that uh, texture with the wrinkles. So this is the number three. I'm gonna select it, click on open. And you know, right now it's too much. Uh, you barely can understand what is going on. So I'm gonna go back to the layer with the typo and you can see the displacement here. I'm gonna double click on the displacement and now I can also decrease the number here. So I'm gonna decrease to 150 now, not 200 and click OK, select the texture again and now it's less distortion this is gonna remain like this and now I gonna select this uh, layer with the text drag it to the little plus so it duplicates and I gonna double click on the displace again and here I gonna decrease the displacement I mean the horizontal scale to somewhere around 30 and the vertical scale somewhere around 25 but I'm also thinking to be 35 and I'm gonna click OK select the displacement and it's gonna be like more clear this way and you also can rearrange it a little more and you also can erase some of the parts so you know halfway it's kind of ghosty and halfway it's more clear so I'm gonna add on this layer a mask so click on this mask here and make sure that you're on the black color so this is the black select the brush and 
basically you can erase some of the parts. And voila, this is how you make a ghost type of effect in Photoshop. Thanks so much for watching and if you are new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.